Yo, what is a good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new free Dark Matter Zion Williamson. Now, yes, I am aware this card came out on Tuesday. I have not gotten gameplay with them yet, and so we're doing it this weekend. Uh, free Zion is always an interesting card. Now, to be fair, Zion himself is only six foot six, so he doesn't have unbelievable size at his respective position. And I also think his release kind of sucks. So I'm going to start this video by prefacing that I don't think this card is actually all that elite, but I I do think as a whole he could be a lot of fun to use and i know he's a player a lot of people are interested in so i'm still going to do a gameplay with him and see how good he can be so before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber sorry 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado zion williamson is 6 6 99 offense 99 defense 99 driving layup 99 close shot 92 mid range 94 three ball 95 free throw 95 standing sorry 99 standing and driving dunk 95 block steel perimeter 97 interior 99 speed and excel 98 speed of ball 97 lateral 99 vert and strength like amazing stats amazing badges the card is amazing like without a doubt he's even got half agent three blinders limitless all that type of stuff legit half shooting badges even though he doesn't shoot barely at all in real life gold handles for days wish that was half sure but like as a whole super complete super good you can add comeback kid open looks touch passer if you want but he comes with basically every badge the problem with this card is that his release stinks i mean look let's playing let's be honest it's just not good it's the same zion williamson release it's on very quick but it's just not good and like you want a good release on a wing it's super important and at this point like zion's release is not that so i don't care and they don't even they didn't even like upgrade his animations he still has a mediocre escape and a mediocre behind the back like how do we not give him a top tier behind the back and one of the better escapes like Trey or kimba escape and then one of like three different behind the backs just give him one of the better ones at least i like i just it's not that hard i don't know there's this card could definitely be better now he does have Kyrie dribble style which helps but like as a whole Kyrie dribble style and tray fade which he does also have is not enough to save this card i don't think i mean the tray fade is nice i will say and if you get that tray fade down he's got a nice quick upper so i feel like it's not a hard tray fade to green by any means i just think i don't know the way this is it's just disappointing i guess you know what i mean because i was one of those guys who used to be incredible in 2k and like the last couple of years has just been really a letdown in 2k because his release has not hasn't been good it's like can we i understand early in the year this is what zion's released like i get it he's not gonna always be a good shooter but like at this point in the year can we change his jump shot base please really upgrade the zion so that he's actually a more elite level small forward like this is kind of lame let's hop into a game see what zion williamson can do all right, our opponent here has got SGA, Tyson Chandler, Mike Miller, Chet Holmgren, and I forget who he has at the three, but overall a good matchup. Oh, who is he matched up against? Uh, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that card is. I'm not going to lie. Oh, is that Tim Thomas? That's a really good matchup. Goodness gracious. We're matched up against one of the best shooting guards or best small forwards in the game. Stop, pop. Michael Beasley gets off the three ball greens. That one. Good shot there. Good screen by Zion. We'll take our open three to start off the game. Put Zion on ball. Zion's always a pretty impactful defender. So I think he could definitely be that in this game too. That's not a very good shot. It's a, it's a great shooter, but it's just too deep of a shot to realistically be considered a good shot. That's a great pass. And that's an assist for a quick six nothing lead. That's how you start off a game. At an elite level, we'll take the assist. First one for Zion, but definitely um, a great play nonetheless. Stay in front. This dude definitely actually does know what he's doing. It's always nice to play against somebody who has some brain cells. And luckily, despite that, he's starting off the game pretty poorly. So hop step through Zion all the way. Zion gets the glitchiest animations, bro. Hoff whistle, spinning the ball up and under. Doesn't go down, but that's okay. We go to the free throw line with an opportunity to get our first two points of the game. First free throw is up and good. Second one is also up and good. Nice high percentage free throw shooter, as to be fair, pretty much every card is at this point in the year so let's see what you can do defensively just stay in front of uh sga make him show you something never mind this dude i might have overrated again his brain cell count um because that's just bad decision making right there drive the ball zion williamson gets blocked on a chase down of sorts by chet holmgren i thought that was pretty good defense and then he greens a four pointer with tyson chandler smacked that with confidence goodness gracious that's a great shot uh first make of the game is that shot i mean you got to give credit where it's due for to a certain extent right drive the ball wrong icon dang and that's not a steal either dang 
That's tough. He missed it. We're good. Run the floor again. Drive the ball again. Hop step through. Chill. I just haven't had the spacing the way quite that I'd like it to be probably so far this game. Hit our slip again. Zion, easy catch. Easy standing. There we go. We'll take that. The problem is Zion's really good at everything else. Like even at only 6'6 six, six and small forward, I actually think this card would be very, very good if he had a slightly better release because he actually is really good at everything else. Like he's very versatile defensively. His player build is really bulky, which is going to help him when it comes to guarding bigger dudes. Like there's a ton to like about this card. I just I don't know. It's hard to eh, it's hard to get excited about a Zion card when you can't really shoot with them with significant confidence unless you are wide spanking open. And like that's just I mean, that's a wide open shot. There we go. Shouldn't miss that. And I missed that. I that's more of my fault than anything else, though. I, I, I say shouldn't miss that because I really shouldn't miss that. Like that's not a shot that you make an excuse missing because of your release. Like that's just a shot I gotta be able to hit at the end of the day. Wide open shot with a guy who should be able to hit that and should be hitting that and I didn't hit it. Um, that one's open from the mid range. Not as open though. We ran a 33%. So can't green the wide open one but the, the lightly contested shot we're drilling it. Love to see that I guess. Uh, giving up a mid range and Tyson Chandler drills it. Not good defense there either. Just kind of giving up a wide open shot for no reason but um, drive the ball again. Now hit our pop. He's switching the screen that's okay um same side burst here did i really just get forced to pick the ball up with like for no reason stop downhill drive with the Kyrie dribble style hop step through i'm shooting the step back i don't care that is kind of a surprising green honestly with the way that i was blinking there i'm kind of surprised i greened that shot but good tough hit on that step back and um wow what a put back animation for tim thomas i just can't justify using this card because like yeah there's guys like tim thomas at the small forward position even a guy like john isaac like why would i use zion over somebody like that ever you know what i mean like not to mention all there's a bunch of good free small forwards either but that's not really who we're talking about again dunks while blinking and makes the dunk very impressive he's been tired and yet he's still making plays um animation wise always going to be a glitchy card like for sure that's just what you got to know with zion williamson but i do think to a extent at least like i don't know he's he's just he's six seven he's six six he's really small and his release isn't good. And, like, I don't think you really need to say a lot more than that, to be honest, at the end of the day. It really is just those couple things, except those couple things make a, make a big difference, especially this late in the year, um, where you're really expecting every card to be great and in pretty much every way. And Zion, unfortunately, is not that card. So, And he hasn't been for a couple of years, which is the real shame, because um, a, a Zion with Kobe base, instead of which he used to get on a lot of his cards later in the year, with instead of his jump shot that he has right now, if he had Kobe base, he's still not the best small forward in the game. He's just a bit better as a free small forward. And like, I don't see what that would hurt. And so that that's, that's kind of what annoys me at the end of the day with a card like this Zon is that he's just not maximized the way that I feel like he could be good fade, good shot misses it. That would have been a really big make for him to cut it to a one point game with 55 seconds left, 52 seconds. Now stay in front. He's trying to get to work with Chet Holmgren, but I don't think we're going to, I don't think we're really giving that up. We're going to contest that fade and he's going to miss that one. And Zion skies for the board and yeah game Boo. got him six point lead 37 seconds left let's just close this one out let's go home 10 points one rebound two assists not a bad performance at all by zion but definitely not a game changingly incredible performance or anything like that got a contest from the side got the board run the floor and that will do it for this one catch shoot deep that's a four pointer that's green what a pass what a shot and that will do it 10 points one rebound three assists 10 point lead with 21 seconds left that's how you do it to be honest oh my gosh speaking of how you do it zion williamson coming over and making a play defensively too again defensive versatility is there he's freakishly athletic a card like zion is a very interesting fun card he just has a bad release and it kills a card like that otherwise is really fun and interesting and very unique like feels like himself too is the fun part about a zion card in my team and right now i mean this card does feel like zion I just don't think he's worth using compared to the best of the best small forwards. But he played himself a good performance, got some really nice highlights. 12 points, one rebound, three assists, five of eight from the field. Only three I missed was a wide open that I should have hit. But as a whole, I thought he played quite well. I just, I think when it comes to the competitive level, he's going to struggle a bit compared to the best of the best. So that is going to do it for this video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.